Dear students, welcome to Kota Maths Lab video tutorial. Here we are discussing concept called comparing quantities. Suppose we have 5 kg of rice and 20 kg of sugar. Both of these two quantities can be compared <coughs> that is the ratio of rice to sugar is equal to 5 is to 20. That is how the quantities are compared. Similarly, in a school, there are 84 boys and 26 girls then the ratio of boys to girls is equal to 84 is to 26 similarly Twelve dozen and five scores. Twelve dozen of articles and five scores of articles. Here, what needs to be done is what is a dozen what is a score if this is understood then the comparison is possible comparison of the quantity is possible only when both of the quantities are expressed in the same unit since here is dozen and here is a score it is not possible that they can be compared like 12 is to 5 it is not possible let us now calculate how many units are there in 12 dozen? 12 dozen means 12 into 1 dozen means again 12. That is equal to 144 articles are there. 144 objects are there. In case of 5 scores, this is equal to 5, 1 score means 20 articles. This will give us 100 articles. Now 144 articles, well this can be compared. 100 articles, again this can be compared. That is, in this case, now the comparison is possible that is 144 to 100. So this is how we write the comparison of the quantities. Comparison is possible only when they are alike. That is, their units are same. If units are same, then comparison is possible and such comparison is called as ratio. If a ratio is written as A is to B, A is called as the antecedent and B is called as consequent. First term is called as antecedent 
and second term is b is called as this b is called as consequent so the ratio of antecedent and consequent is what we normally define it as ratio thank you for watching this video thanks for your support